Hello and welcome to New Parents in Training. So today I am going to review this Infantino Multi Pocket. This is one of the ones that are highly rated, but also at a very decent price. So I'm going to put all the product information down in the description below so you can check the most up-to-date pricing. All right, so let's open this. Now, according to the description, you get four different ways of carrying this. Now, for the majority of time, probably going to use maybe two at the most. Anyway, oh, oh by the way, this is for already eight pounds to 40 pounds. I don't know who wants to carry a 40 pound baby. That, that's just too heavy. But it's really that way. So if your baby is heavy and you want to carry him or her, uh, you can definitely do so. All right. So pretty, pretty simple. This come right out of the box. So what else you have in here? Manual instruction, product safety alert. So yeah, cut this off. I would say like first impression, this is pretty heavy already and pretty thick material. So I don't know how well this would do in the middle of summer. But anyway, let me go try it out with my kid. All right, to put on the carrier, you first you have to unbuckle everything that's being buckled. So it's just unbuckle the top. There's one, two, three, four. Four buckles. All right, so there are four different ways to carry your baby with this carrier. The first two ways are uh, all facing toward you. The baby is facing toward you. Now, the first way is for eight pounds to 15 pounds. Since our uh, daughter has over that maximum weight, I, I can't really show you with her in the carrier, but I can tell you how is it different than the second way. The only difference is uh, for the second way, the bottom seat is expanded instead of closed. So what I'm going to show you today is only three ways, the second, the third, and the fourth. Now, first of all, to put this thing on, you flip, have the bottom portion, and then you buckle from the back, like so, and then put on the shoulder, and this buckle on the back, now there are straps on the back where you can do some adjusting if needed. Okay. Oh, well, there are two more buckles on the top which I forgot to open it up. Currently, this is in the first way for the eight pound to fifteen pounds uh, infant. Now this is closed seat. You have to expand the seat. Let's unbutton this. And there's a tap on the side where you hold the seat into position, into the open seating position, expanded position. Okay, for well, the second way is for a child that's 15 to 40 pounds. So the baby is going to sit facing toward the parent like so. Now once the baby is in, then you can adjust the strap to have a better fit. Now some of the straps you need to adjust. Uh, it's the top one here and also the shoulder strap. So make sure the baby is close to you. And you don't want the baby to be too far down. Then it's easy to fall off if you bend down. But uh, anyway, so this is the second stage uh, with the expanded seat. Okay, so now let's talk about the third way. The third way is uh, for kids that's able to crawl. Now what you need to do is to close the flap. Bring the flap back in and close it. This way, the child is facing toward the front away from the parent. Mm. 
And also for this top, you have to bring it down. All right, so this is the third way. Again, if you need to do any adjustment, once the baby is in, then you can do tighten it up on the buckle side of things. So, yeah. Yeah, make sure your kid is not too far away from your chin. All right, so the fourth way does require two people, two adults to help. Now, um, buckle everything and also make sure the lower portion is in expanded mode. Even though they tell you to put on the shoulder first, but we found it a little bit easier if you just put the bottom, the waist buckle on first, and then you put on the shoulder buckle this as well. And now to the back where the second adult going to come in, you need to bend down a little bit, make sure the kid be able to sit on top of your uh, back, and then put on the flat. Also for the fourth way, the requirement is the kid has to be able to sit up straight. Okay, so the baby is in now, and this is how you do the fourth way. And when you are taking the baby out, you need a second adult as well. Right, so there are multiple pockets on this carry. You have one, two, three, four, five, and then six. So what they are for, right? Now for the lower portion, you can put your cell phone, your keys. For the side ones here, you can put a bed and the change of clothes. So a bit. Now if your bit is kind of large, it's a little bit harder for you to put it in. So just bear that in mind. And then a change of clothes. But right, something to keep in mind, there's two pockets. It's not one. Uh, you cannot go across. So uh, yeah. Bear that in mind, in the top, where you can put a diaper or two in here. Now on the very top, this is where you can put a pacifier. Now I won't suggest you to do that because it's a little unsanitized. And you just kind of shove this in. <laughs> Alright, so my final thought about this carrier. Uh, it's really affordable. And it's one of the lower pricing carriers that we have tested. And also, this is multifunctional with multiple pockets. So you can have your kids facing you, facing out, or carry them on your back. You can do all sorts of that. Because this has multiple pockets, you can just carry your kid out for a walk without taking a lot of stuff onto your jean or your pants pocket. So yeah, that's really helpful. Now let's talk about the con. Uh, the buckles, they are a little bit hard to squeeze out and to put it back in. Like my fingers actually hurt for all the buckling up. And also, it gets confusing sometimes. Because um, what happens is, when I try to buckle, I always try to use the top one because that, that's the most visible one and the easiest to access. I try to buckle to the bottom one. But obviously it doesn't fit because it's not the right side. So I keep trying to do that. Meanwhile, the actual one is on the side. So yeah, it's a little bit, it can be a little bit confusing, but it gets some time to get used to it. Anyway, this is our review of the Infantino 4-in-1 carrier. If you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.